right then, so hello and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. So in this episode I'll be making the trip up to Mogla's. It's not too far, but... One second, let's just double check that I am where I believe I am. Just wanted to make sure I hadn't done any fiddling. Skills. Seven. Espers. Stray. And I knew that top one wasn't stray, I just like to confirm that I'm in the S for menu so that I don't realize 20 episodes later that, oh, uh, yeah, I lost four points of stamina on Sabin because of a dumb mistake. So, equip, I'm already on Sabin, so go up to Sless. Equip, top, two, 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 two. That's my commentary for this episode. Two, two, two. So this time it's uh, one, one, down on the bottom, one. <laughs> I'm already on seven, which makes equipping relics easy. Relic seven. Equip. Top slot. Net. Down one. Relic slash equip. Top slot. Net. Black belt. Alright then, so that should hopefully be it for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. Believe it or not, the most dangerous part of this entire segment's already out of the way, because I didn't run into anything in the desert, which is by far the hardest encounters. Those are the only ones where I'd be really likely to die if I didn't mess up my equipping. That's an important stipulation, because if I messed up my equipping, just with anything could happen. Oh yeah, right. Blitz. And you just attack. Because, believe it or not, during my test run, I totally forgot to give Sabin equipment. I just uh, gave him relics, and it was so easy that I didn't even notice anything was amiss whatsoever. Nope, oh, shrapnel is probably the most dangerous thing here. Well, they're both alive, so we're probably good. It's especially dangerous because the shrapnel is single target, and that would do a lot of damage to one person. Enough to actually be a credible threat. But nothing happened, so... And I'll regain some more HP while I walk. Oh, yeah, right. I actually did forget something. Equip. Skills. I should be on Celeste still. She should still be on Magic. Okay, so I've got float on them now as well. That'll help later when I get to enemies that can use magnitude. So yeah, let's just continue walking. I gotta be kind of quiet right now, actually, so that's why I'm not talking very loud. Oh well, hopefully I can be heard above the game audio without adjusting my settings any. Up, right, up, right. Gotta be a little bit more careful with my up and rights this time. Last time I was just going all willy-nilly and it ended up costing me. So I'm making progress. Okay, I definitely went right last. Since I made some serious distance there, I should hopefully have rehealed quite a bit. Well, there's certainly a vul vulture in this battle, because it's the only thing she's going to be throwing crud at. Which is nice, because, you know, she just threw crud at it, so... Just rips these things apart, and I region so much that, in general, the enemies can't keep up. I end up regaining a whole pile of HP once I've whittled them down to one or two of them. Well, more like one. There's usually only one or two enemies in the battle to begin with. Up, right, up, right, up, right. I was probably close to the end before, but... So I'm not expecting another battle, but... Alright, so, probably made it by now. All the way down. Then we all run all the way right into that 
delicious looking purple water. It just seems so clean. I mean, I guess you could probably make a comparison to the tap water of somewhere, and it would be a hilarious joke, but I don't know anywhere in particular that has really horrible tap water, so I'm sure someone will be able to fill me in on that, so I made it there, hopefully. One, two, all the way to the right. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Now I'm... That battle just removed a lot of the worry that I had, and it's probably a preemptive strike too, so double bonus. I'm starting to get really worried. Oh wow, Sless is really tearing <laughs> that thing apart. It's just going AWOL with that throwing. Something's dead. Oh wow, it's so scary. What with my float status? I, th I think I'm probably in danger now. When things are already kind of weak and now they're just wasting turns like that, it's just... I suspect I'm probably at full health after that fight. The ambient healing of the Light Bell is really, really nice right now because I don't have any MP healing or supplies, really. Well, unless I want to use something expensive like a Tincture. So I don't want to use any Celeste's MP on curing, but thankfully that's a complete non-issue. There's really nothing to worry about there. Probably the biggest worry will be going through the desert on the way up to Nikea because I think the dangerous enemies are in that desert too. So, uh, I've made it to the end of this probably by now. Up and right. I just went right. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter this time around, but I'm pretty sure that taking a step in the wrong direction will do probably nothing of consequence, but... Well, you just ate yourself another hit, and now you're dead. Well, Celeste is going eight wall again in the opposite way that she was before. Well, not in the opposite way, per, per se, just in sort of like a sister way to it. That thing's dead. Well, goodbye to those, uh, probably... What are they called again? Gylomantises. Gylomanti, might be mixing it up with another type of praying mantis, but, and as always, I'm probably mixing it up with the SNES version, vanilla, GBA version, vanilla, Return of the Dark Sorcerer, who knows, I always mix things up. One, two, three, and it's really easy when you can't see the names either. I mean, when you can see the name down at the bottom saying, hey, this is a Gylomantis, you're probably thinking, okay, the Gylomantis just did that, but... One, two, three. Horrible. And Fumbub is, like, a super easy boss fight, so I don't need to worry about that one, really. Because he can be muted. <laughs> Unless has been changed or something. I don't recall ever hearing anything about it being changed, but you never know sometimes. There's just that weird silence for a couple seconds, just that weird nothing. Oh well. Since I'm... The nice thing about overworld travel is during these long stretches where I walk in a single direction, if I get a battle halfway through, it's usually a very good indicator that I'm in the right spot. Because if I walk for, because it's pretty uncommon that I'll be just walking for like five or six seconds without uh, it being part of my plan. In certain places, anyway, particularly around this area, because everything's somewhat linear but really long, the way the serpent trench is laid out. I almost tried to dash there, but then I was like, oh yeah, you can't do that on the overworld. And hello, Mobliz. Goodbye, Mobliz. Well, I am on skills. And that's the end of that.
super easy enemies around here. You can't really break through my tanking. So, it just makes for a really relaxed segment. See you next time.